Let's write the formula for bismuth 3 oxide. This is also called dibismuth trioxide and sometimes just bismuth trioxide. So let's work with this one first and we'll talk a little bit about this name here. So bismuth on the periodic table, it's right next to lead. It's what we call a post-transition metal. So let's write Bi. And this 3 here, that tells us we have a 3 plus. For the oxide, that's just oxygen. Because we have this metal here and a nonmetal, this is going to be ionic, and the charges need to balance. Oxygen is always going to be 2 minus. So to get these charges to balance, we'll use a bit of a trick. It's called the crisscross method. We'll move the 2 down here and the 3 over here. Let's get rid of these. And that makes the formula for bismuth 3 oxide Bi2O3. You can see in this name here, dibismuth trioxide di, that means 2. So we have our 2 bismuth atoms here, and then trioxide 3 oxygens. So we have that there as well. So this name also works to describe the compound. For the last name here, because this is such an important compound, Bi2O3, industrially, sometimes it's just called bismuth trioxide, and they just know what you're talking about. Either way, this is Dr. B with the formula for bismuth 3 oxide, also called dibismuth trioxide and bismuth trioxide. Thanks for watching.